It's cute. You can't tell me it's not cute. It's cute. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Oh God. It's you. It's me. What's up? How you doing, baby? It's you. It's me. What's up? How you doing, baby? Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend and all a friend and the other friends to subscribe to my channel. Turn on the post notifications because if you're not subscribed right now, what, what exactly is going on if you're not subscribed right now because like you missing out honestly you're really missing out if you're not subscribed right now in today's video i'm gonna be showing you how i did this you can't stop right here yes i know it's cute i know i know i saw a trend on facebook where they was like cutting up their shirts and put in safety pins and so i was like hmm this is really cute and i saw a lot of people they was like you know they didn't like it and then some people they really really liked it i'm one of those people that really really liked it not all the styles that styles i've seen i liked but i did see some that was like really really cute and so i'm the type of person that would cut up shirts pants everything when i was bored and i would try to like revamp it and so i decided because i'm bored who is not bored but you know what i mean to do this and it came out really really cute like you can't it's cute you can't tell me it's not cute it's cute i'm about to show you how i did this in this next clip i decided that i was going to cut off a little bit more of the vest because I wanted it to look more like a crop top so I just cut right below this white tag on the side and I was kind of playing with it because I'm like why is it there so you'll see me just like deciding whether I should cut it off or not and then I was like okay wait I have to get back to the video So now I'm going to turn it on the right side and I am about to measure it to where I should cut it so I need to make sure that it's in the middle. So I fold it in half and then you're going to see me start pressing down the middle part so that it creates a line just like this and then I hold the two ends where that line is. and. That will be my indication for where I should start cutting. So I didn't cut this all the way down. I started a little bit above the bottom of the crop top and I started cutting diagonally and I cut all the way to the top of the crop top. So I got four different sizes of safety pins that I am going to use for this style from biggest to smallest. I'm going to start from the top with the biggest one and then work my way all the way down to where I started cutting. You're going to see that I'm not going to secure the safety pins just yet and these safety pins are going to be placed a finger width apart.
You're going to see me start securing the safety pins. And the reason I did not secure them in the first place is because I wanted to make sure that each of them was positioned properly before I started pinning. Once all your safety pins are secured, you're going to take the shirt and you're going to start pulling it and stretching it so that all the safety pins are visible. And there you have it, DIY safety pin crop top slash tank top slash shirt slash whatever you want to call it. So if you guys want to see more DIYs on any anything, leave a comment down below. You know, share this video to all your friends. Those of you that, you know, like cute little styles like this. Um, I might try and, you know, do different styles with the safety pins and see what I come up with. But this is what I did, like, quick and easy right, right now and stay tuned for my videos thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe bye